Let's give this thing a go. Should we do a gone in 60 style? Let's try it out. Hey, what's going on guys? Gone in 60 here, back at it with another video. Today I have an awesome install that I wanna show you guys. We are gonna change out my existing manual shifter that came with my 2019 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack, and we are gonna replace it with a pistol grip shifter from Hearst. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to take this off. I'm gonna show you how to install the new one properly, and we'll give you guys some good shots of what the new shifter looks like compared to this guy. So thank you guys for jumping in. Please like the video, please give me a subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of my future content, and let's jump into it. Okay, for today's video, here's what you guys are gonna to need to purchase. So I purchased this, I believe, from American Muscle. I'll leave a link below in the description. It has everything you need in terms of the shifter. It has the shifter and then it has the adapter right here that we'll show in just a little bit. I did buy some Loctite. The reason you're gonna to wanna to buy some Loctite is because if you don't put this on, is you guys shift over time, you know, whether you're shifting aggressively or maybe just passively, that shifter is gonna come loose. So I actually bought the Loctite Blue 242. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Uh, the blue isn't as permanent as the red. If you buy the red, just know you're very committed to the shifter and you might not be able to take it off in the future. But the blue does lock the thread really well, but it does make it so you are so you are able to remove it in the future. You are gonna need some wrenches. So you're gonna need a 16 millimeter, a 17, and a 19. I didn't have a 16, so I am gonna try and use a crescent wrench and we'll see how that goes. And these are basically all of the products that you guys will need today to be able to install this by yourself. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do installing the new shifter is we're gonna wanna be able to pull this boot down so it can expose uh, the bolt that's that's holding the shifter on so we can loosen it off. So we're just gonna try and get that exposed. As you guys can see, it's kind of, you know, wanna make sure that you're easy getting to it. So um, right here, yeah, let's see. All right, almost there guys. Okay, so we got this all exposed like we want it. So this is where we are going to now work in terms of removing it. So you're gonna need two wrenches to be able to, one to hold on to this guy. From what I understand, you're actually gonna try and tighten this, and then you're gonna have another wrench that holds onto this so it can actually come off. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the GoPro uh, so I can use both hands here and show you guys how to do this. But first part, get the boot exposed or take the boot off and to be able to get this nut exposed. So we'll jump into actually removing this off of there and installing the new shifter. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the 19 millimeter and you're gonna put it down on this bolt down here. Um, and then I actually think we're gonna get away with the 17 millimeter and the 17 millimeter you're just gonna hold right here. This bolt up here on the shift adapter has just a couple flat edges. So you're just gonna hold the 17 millimeter on that and you're not gonna try and move this guy. You're gonna try and rotate this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. Pull it back over towards me. Okay, so we got it loose. So what I did with the 19 millimeter is I tried to tighten it. It's gonna be weird, guys. I know it's not gonna be what you think it is, but take that 19 millimeter, hold that 17 millimeter, take the 19 and come back this way with it. And so with this, I should just be able to get the existing shift knob off of here. Okay, so off we go, out with the old, in with the new guys. All right guys, so I have my pistol grip shifter ready to be able to put onto there. So this comes in the packaging, so this is the adapter. So what we're gonna wanna do next is we're gonna wanna put a little bit of that blue Loctite. I'll actually probably put it just inside of here. Don't wanna put too much, just a little bit. And then what we'll do is we'll tighten this guy all of the way. And then, yeah, this is what goes down um, on the bottom and we just start working this guy all the way down. So as you guys can tell, this has very similar plumbing 
um, to what the original does. So you guys can see the original and you can see this new one. So you can just see that we don't need to take any parts off the existing shifter. All we have to do is just be able to use this guy. And that's just gonna go right back down onto this after we put the blue Loctite in here and get this guy threaded. All right guys, so I got my blue Loctite here. We're not gonna put a ton in there. We're just gonna kind of put this down into the threads and we are just going to screw this guy back into there. I think this is the easiest way to avoid dripping because I think if you put this onto the threads and tried to screw it on, it would drip on you. All right guys, so we have the adapter all on here. We're gonna go ahead and screw this back on and uh, I'll show you guys how to finish the install here. So you're just gonna go down as far as the adapter will let you go on here. And then you might have to bring this nut back up to uh, where the adapter is. So just screw it down uh, as far as it'll let you guys go and then we'll tighten it up. All right, so that looks like it is as far down as it can go. So what we're gonna wanna do is snug this bottom bolt up to the bottom of it. Uh, this is a crucial part of the install and it's one of the last steps that we're gonna wanna do. But you guys are gonna wanna make sure that you have this shift, um, the shifter in a comfortable spot for your hands where you'll be shifting the car from. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's straight. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's on there good um, and just make sure that it is in the right spot for you. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with that just for a little bit here, uh, just to make sure I have it right where I want it. All right guys, so I got the shifter in place right where I want it. This is a crucial step. Make sure and, you know, make sure and kind of shift through the gears a little bit. Make sure it's in a comfortable position for your hand. Uh, you can undo this, so, you know, moving forward, if, if you don't get it in the right spot, you can loosen it back up do the reverse order. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 17 millimeter and we are going to put this right on um, the adapter here and then it's reverse order. Remember when we took it off, I tightened it. Now we're gonna go back over to the passenger side to be able to snug this up. All right, I think we have that on there pretty good. Okay, yeah, let me just make sure. Okay guys, we got it on there. We got it in the position that we liked. I've kind of shifted through the gears a little bit, played around. Um, now what we're gonna do is just be able to put uh, this boot back up over uh, the, the nut here and uh, the install will be done and we'll wrap it up. So I'll just go ahead and uh, do that real quick. And yeah, maybe give it a quick spin around the block and see how I like shifting through the gears with it. All right, obviously one thing that I do wanna mention here is on the stock shift knob, you can tell which gears you need to shift them in. Obviously with the hearse, there is nothing on here to help you indicate which gear it needs to go into, which I personally like because then it'll make it even harder for people to try and drive my car, which I won't let them do in the first place. So as you guys are buying this, just know that um, it doesn't come with the shift patterns on here. So that is something you're gonna to have to take into consideration as you buy this. There you have it. That is how you install the pistol grip her shifter on your Dodge Challenger. Uh, guys, I really enjoyed this install. It was really easy to do. It probably took me maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most. Uh, the only thing that gave me probably, I wouldn't say hard, but the challenging, most challenging part of it was trying to get this boot back up over uh, the lock nut down here. Um, I'm probably supposed to bring this up over this guy but I really just didn't see a way how to do it. And I really don't want to uh, rip these stitches because I could tell some of the stitches were stretching a little bit. So, you know, 
I don't know. I think it looks good where it's at. Um, I'm not going to mess around with it anymore, but it's in a good spot. It feels sturdy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of go around the block and shift it a little bit. But let me guys know what you think in the comments below. Do you guys like this install? Are you guys going to do this one yourselves? Let's give this thing a go. Should we do a Gone in 60 style? Let's try it out. this shifts i love how it feels ah guys get one of these for yourselves you will thoroughly enjoy it thank you guys for tuning in